Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your September 2019 reading. I am Lorianne, your intuitive guidance counselor, psychic medium, to give you all the messages that I receive for the month of September. We're looking at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Gemini, as well as the Venus sign, only for the love portion. We're going to look at love, career, finances, family, friends, health, whatever information I get, I will relate to you. And we're going to do the same thing that we did in the month of August. I will do the main message that I've been doing for the past two years for you. And then on the Vimeo, the extended side, we're going to look at what's blocking you from the outcome. Okay, in all areas. So we're going to start your reading off with a message from the angels. This is going to apply to each and every one of you. And you're going to know exactly how it applies in your life. So... Gemini, we have Sonia. I bring you a message from your deceased loved one. I am happy, at peace. I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. So some of you may have been actually feeling the presence of somebody that you love that has, is on the other side. And they're just letting you know that, yeah, they're there. They are there for you. So we have access to all of our past deceased loved ones so let's go ahead and start with finance in the middle and then i'll do couples and singles as far as love is concerned family friends health any other messages i get i will reiterate to you throughout the reading okay gemini so we do have the page of wands this is about taking action in your life in a direction that makes you feel very good. Okay, this is about passion. Wands are about adventure, excitement, taking a risk. Being very courageous and brave when we go forward. This is all about you taking action in your current career, your current employer. We also have the Knight of Wands. So some of you could be getting an opportunity that's coming in an offer. And this is going to be an offer that you're very excited about. And I do see that some of you are writing. Uh, and they're saying, I don't know what you're writing. They're saying whatever you're writing, they're telling you to move forward on it, to take action on it. For some of you, they're saying definitely in the month of September, it may have everything to do with a particular cycle that you're in, planetary alignment cycle. A cycle's changing is what I'm hearing for a group of you. <laughs> Excuse me. Eight of Wands, exactly what I'm talking about. So the Eight of Wands, just like these, this is really all about writing, the arts. Some of you are traveling and they're saying yes travel for an interview so you're going to get some information if you've already put a resume out that is going to be a really good offer this information is going to come for most of you it is in the month of september more toward the mid september and for the another portion of you in this group i see it rolling into the first week of october it's still very uh very this is good this is fantastic and i do see money's going to come out of this why because this is what you're really passionate about and some of you this is your true spiritual path it's all about love within you this is an offer you may have two offers as well most of you i see you have this incredible offer it's going to bring you abundance it's moving you forward in a brand new venture in your life now this could have to do with writing documents writing a book a blog anything this this is information coming into you that's going to be very 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 beneficial so yeah i love it love it love it now we're going to take a look at couples this is for exclusively dating the two of you are exclusive you live together you're married engaged however it applies but it is an actual commitment okay so we have the four of wands
Okay, here's what we have, you guys. The Four of Wands is creating a solid foundation in your relationship. Four of Wands is all about relationship. This can indicate uh, solidifying and really coming together where you guys are on the same page, moving forward in the right direction for both of you. Harmony, balance between the two of you in the whole relationship sector. This is family. This is between the two of you. This is everything in balance. Now, for those of you where it's a soul connection, it can definitely indicate a twin flame. The Hierophant, this is about seeing your relationship from a different perspective and not listening to people around you, but basing it on your own intuition. You see this, there's a triangle here. If you, you should be able to see that. This is where we connect to spirit, where we connect to source and the angels come in. They guide us and we can see things from a different perspective. Some of you may have been getting, um, I'm hearing some of you know that you're going to get married. Yep. Some of you know that you're going to get married, but your family is trying to run the show, is what I'm hearing. You're planning your wedding. Yeah. For another group of you, your family's saying, why don't you get married? Why isn't it? What's going on? What's going on? Now we have the Princess of Swords. This is information coming into you. This has everything to do with marriage. Some of you are going to hear from your partner. They're going to send you, I'm seeing an invitation to you from your partner because they want to solidify the relationship. They want to move it a little bit further than where it is. I know that sounds crazy, right? And then I'm seeing the other group of you. This is all about family intervening in your relationship and it's you sending messages out, text message, definitely social media, sending messages out, letting them know that you've got control over your relationship. You do not want or welcome their advice, unsolicited advice, basically. So let's take a look at singles. Yeah, some of you are going to, you're, you're definitely going to get married for sure. Or that engagement is coming. We have the death card. This is all about an ending that has taken place in your life. For every ending is a brand new beginning. And we have an opportunity to look at that situation that ended and pull any lessons out that can help us grow as an individual. Grow into a more meaningful relationship if that's what we're looking for, of course. Death card can be transformation for every ending is a new beginning. Some of you have gone through an actual, oops, let me fix this. <laughs> You've gone through a literal, physical, major life transformation. And you may be looking at relationships from a different angle right now. You know, this is when we really take a deep down, look at this card. You see, it's the bones, right? It's the skeleton. I hope you can see it. It's on autofocus, but this is really going down deep. Some of you are diving down deep going, why is this happening over and over again? I need to really go down into the root chakra underneath the ground before I, you know, and really look at everything from the roots all the way up internally externally as well, but not yet. Nine of swords, anxiety, worry, fear. Some of you just went through a breakup and you're having a really hard time. And the thing is, is I have a feeling there are people around you or around the person that you just ended this relationship with. They were stabbing you in the back. I see a sense of betrayal associated to this, putting you in a state of fear. And most definitely, some of you have met a soul connection. You felt very drawn. You felt like everything was on the right page, maybe even moving toward a higher level commitment. And bam, here they come, ended it, and they're gone. 
You're driving yourself crazy, wondering, worrying, what did I do? What did I do? What's going on? Why did this end? Everything was going so well. Yet we have a snake here on the bottom. Now, we do have the Queen of Wands. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, but really, or Scorpio. But whoever this person was, This individual is a friend or it could be a family member. I don't feel it's an ex-lover. Your partner that you ended this relationship with, this is their friend. They, they were lying about you. You got stabbed in the back either by your friend or your partner's friend. There's a lot of negative connotation to this ending. A lot of um, ill words is what I'm hearing for this particular scenario. And we have the Five of Wands. So this person may have actually told you or your partner that you were doing something, that you were involved with other people. I'm hearing there was rumors, gossip, lies that created this ending. And now you're having a really difficult time rebuilding your conf inner confidence. You know, the Queen of Wands in your representation of this is all about you overcoming this and stepping into your true authentic self empowerment right getting out of this conflict with them with others most of all this is in you this is anxiety and worry for some of you you may feel like you are never going to get a new relationship however i do see that a good part of you in this group you're meeting somebody new and they're triggering you literally triggering you in your mind to something that is in the past. So this could be a soulmate relationship, most definitely, where it's all about the triggering, right? So let me pull an advice card, and then we're going to pull a romance angel card as well. We're looking at Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yourself is definitely in this reading. Taurus. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. All of the elements are here except for Earth. So there's no real grounding in this relationship other than a couple zodiac signs. But let's see what the advice is. Now this is going to be for each and every one of you. And you will know how to apply it to your situation. And you know, as we go through here. As we go through each of these different areas, remember, we always have access to a deceased loved one. They will communicate with you in the way that you are asking them to, but you got to believe and give it 24 to 48 hours. You should see something when you call upon them to help guide, to help you, to thank them, whatever it may be for you. So... We have love. Oh, love, love, love. Love is on such a heightened level in life. You know, when we really open up to love, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. This is being open in a big way. And when I say open to love, that means I open my arms up and whatever God wants to send down, those angels want to bring me, bring it on. I am open to it, okay? That's what open to love means. It doesn't mean a relationship. So, per, per se, you know, I love you, I want to marry you. Like many people think if you say I love you, oh my God, they want to marry me. No, no, I don't. Okay. So let's take a look at the Romance Angel card for the couples and we'll pull one for singles as well. You guys have a really eventful month coming up ahead, especially in career. You couples, you've got some amazing things coming in your relationship. I see a really heightened sense of defense, uh, protection, protection mode with couples. You're not going to let anybody tell you or your partner how or what to do in your relationship. And that's good. The two of you are self-contained. So for couples, we have honeymoon, 
enjoy the bliss of holiday together. So most definitely, you guys, and this is also about travel as well. So some of you, like I said, you may be getting married. It could be a surprise. Whatever you and your partner are doing, whether it's actually going on a honeymoon, taking a trip together, traveling to meet up, and they're sending you that information because they're going to do something beautiful for you to, to solidify a higher level of commitment that could be remarrying you, that could be marrying you the first time, moving in together, etc. So for singles, we have finance and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And because of what happened with this situation, you may be a little bit uh, guarded. Oh, this doesn't want to stand up. Guarded when it comes to moving forward, possibly throwing yourself into your work situation. And for those of you where you've felt like you were betrayed somebody was gossiping about you and you may have met this person through your work or the snake you work with them so if you like this video if you like my style please thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and that's what keeps us up and going and if you'd like to see where this is going to go we're going to see a little bit more in detail on this opportunity as well as what's blocking you in all in all these different areas and what the advice is for a really high vibrational outcome. You can click below and I'll meet you on the other side. Have a wonderful month. Thank you for 